Welcome back to 1010's podcast with Michael and Adam and Robbie from the uh, Kanga Motorsports studio again this week. Um, he had an announcement this week, didn't he, Robbie? You're yeah, he's, pull running, that he's running Gen 3, which is a pretty major it's like a, upgrade, is my understanding. A bunch, like bunch a, of horsepower and loss of weight. 30 Both horsepower. Uh, 102 to 3 second faster lap weight. times. Fuck yeah. Boom. That's pretty cool. So he's doing all that build on his Instagram if anybody's interested. Which you should be. And just looking at, I mean, people like to look at build stuff on Instagram. That's kind of what's for if Heck you're a yeah. car person. So even if you're not a spec racer Ford, people building stuff's cool, right? So go check Heck that yeah. out. Kanga Motorsports. Um, oh, next thing we got to do. So Art and, well, actually, I talked to Art over at Vibrant. He's a guy that does all their video editing. Uh, he's a pretty impressive dude. He sent over a care package for us. Um, so I've got Vibrant t-shirts. I'm wearing one right now, which is a little tricky to see for the people on YouTube. We've got some vinyl decals. Um, that catalog's ours, I assume, because once we look at it, we're going to have to buy stuff out of it. Well, yeah, that's obviously. how that works. Um, but I've got T-shirts. They're not dumb. I've got T-shirts to give away. I've got, I think, one medium and a couple XLs that uh, he gave to us to give away. So um, when we get a chance to do that, we'll give away some. We'll throw some. Hey. Put that Bobby, that's Bobby. for the fans, Robbie. What? Don't steal the There's vinyl. There's plenty left for the fans. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Robbie always hates the fans. What? <laughs> Robbie comes. We come first. In the, we've talked about this many times. I love the fans. They're not here to defend themselves. We come first. Yeah. If they want a sticker, they can take it right now. Yeah. You're but, saying they could break into my house right now <laughs> after the fact, now that they're hearing this recording, and they could take a sticker. No, because the stickers will be gone. Right. But if they were here right now. If they're here right now, they could have a sticker. Yeah. Okay. Well, fair enough. But I think Rob, I'm, I'm probably. I'm stop them. If someone shows up here and takes a sticker and leaves, doesn't say a word. Have it. <laughs> okay, so besides that, like time continuum bullshit that you'd have to navigate to come steal a sticker from my house right now, I think probably what we'll do is we'll do a giveaway um, on the group or something. I don't know. Pay attention to the socials, ten tenths media everywhere. There's a page. There's a group. Like the page, join the group, and then we'll figure out how to give away the t-shirts and whatever vinyl Robbie has not stolen. I probably won't take. It. I'll put it back. I'm gonna take one. You should. He gave us a few. Of them. I'm for sure gonna one. take one. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'll take one. It's vibrant, man. Of all companies, vibrant's a. You I know. know I got cool. some. Of, I got some of their stickers already, though. That's the thing. I was just. Oh, and from Grid Life. Yeah. I don't know if I ended so. up with any of them. You must have stolen all of them then, as well. <laughs> I'm seeing a pattern here now. Yes. Robbie. Robbie's and his, a Robbie and his Ricer stickers. I don't know why you're surprised you should, by this. <laughs> I found like a box full of stickers. <laughs> we should give all those away. <laughs> oh, of just the stickers you've collected over the I've years? collected from shows. I've collected remember, from oh, products shit. I've bought. Do you remember that big sticker pack we got from Speedway? I still have two all years those. ago. I still, yeah, I, I found that in my house just like last week. Maybe it's should, quite the package. I should grab. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> every show. Damn it, Robbie. Well, one every show. Damn it, Robbie. <laughs> I suppose you talk for two or three hours, and eventually somebody's <laughs> going to say something that you can reply with phrasing. You know, yeah, it's just the show that we like to run. That's all I'm saying. We're absolutely not scripted. I just want we're to not scripted. How professional? We're not censored, at least not on the podcast format. No. Uh, so anyway, we'll figure that stuff out. We'll give it away. Thank you very much to Vibrant for sending some stuff over, and cool that you want us to share it with all of our dudes that hang out with us and yell at us on the page. Um, what else? Is there anything else before we do Adam's opener? Buy a shirt? Definitely. Yeah, check out 1010 podcastcom We got our store and all that. We still got the uh, lawsuit t-shirt or whatever it's called on there. So you guys can <laughs> check that out. Parody t-shirt, that's it's right. Not, it's not a copy. <laughs> it's, it's not. different. It's, it's a oh. parody. It's a, It's like a... It's you just, can parody something yeah, it's different. legally. It's, it's yeah, totally it's different. different. Uh, it's not like it's anybody else has ever done that. We haven't gotten a cease and desist yet. It's fine. Uh, kind of cool if we did. That would be kind of cool. Is Golf even like still a company? I don't really? have any idea. <laughs> I think it's like a company that was bought by BP, and now it's just kind of a marketing exercise. Now. Right, yeah. I don't think it's really much of a company. They had a booth. Golf oil, so. Oh, yeah. I or think golf. they still yeah, make racing. Yeah, they had racing they fuels. They still they make had... racing fuels. I think oh, they're TRI. specifically doing that. Sort Marine of thing and now. ATV is what came up first, so yeah. that tells you something. They um, had a booth at PRI. I mean, they have to be something, right? There's a Mustang there. That wasn't a Mustang? Right there. Right there, in there the picture. Oh, yeah, in the picture, yeah. but not in the booth. No, they had a por Porsche. Yeah. Yeah. A rep. A but fake still. Porsche, yeah. It looked like a Porsche. It was a fake Porsche. It was a fiberglass Porsche. Probably it was a VW. Time. No, I think it was a Volkswagen power. Oh, yeah. Lame. Pretty lame. Super lame. Could you put like a fucking small block Chevy in it or something? Yeah, well, I don't understand. Okay, Robbie likes kit cars. Uh, I do. Why? Why? We, and I like kit cars too. There's no, Some I, of them. I like kit cars. Um, 
why would you go through all the work to build a kit car and then put a an air cooled, air-cooled Volkswagen? Yeah, motor exactly. Yeah, make ninety horsepower. Maybe. No, that's yeah. fun. If it's the right temperature and the right humidity <laughs> outside, why would you do that? I don't know. It's dude. a giant fucking waste of your time, <laughs> yeah, other people's time. Absolutely. People follow you on Instagram, Facebook, your friends, your well, family, you all of that. You can't drive it down the street. Yeah, because you're just getting smoked all day long yeah. by Hondas. Yeah, and <laughs> and you know your every every boy racer you pull up to at a stoplight is going to try and race you and your Porsche Golf Livery rep. Every pickup truck. Yeah, you come across. You're gonna get rolled on. Yep. Roll coal on. No, constantly. you're gonna get rolled by a V6 pickup work truck. Or a mom and her Odyssey minivan on the way to pick up the kids from soccer practice. Yeah. This is the Miata life as well. It's <laughs> I've seen lots of people like <laughs> I've seen lots of people like, I love my Miata until a mom and her minivan smoked me off a stoplight and then I sold it. Immediately went home. <laughs> Bro, the problem is you can get you can get like a three hundred horsepower um I know Chrysler it's minivan. Crazy. What the shit is that about? Yeah. And literally, all it will do is torque steer and like do that thing right. where you do front yeah. end burnouts and the front just kind of like <laughs> waves that's around. Still torque steering, is it when it's, it's just, even though it's a burnout and I, it's just kind of like I'm going to call it torque steering. Where your back wheels are kind of in one spot and the front's just kind of sliding yeah. around. Okay, you're letting the front hang out. I think is the right term. Yeah, it'd be like a drift but backwards. <laughs> right, that's my new favorite term for understeering: what? letting the front hang out. Wow, because that's what you want, right? It's like when an instructor tells you you're fast between the corners. That's not a compliment. <laughs> You're using that throttle well. <laughs> so anyway, there, there's not there's something that makes me like livid, fear like that that burnt that anger that like th- th- that anger you know what right. I mean yeah. the, the anger that Robbie gets when he puts on vinyl about or air someone cool. slams his car door shut right yeah I that's, feel that that's a very good accurate way of describing that I feel that when Pure. I see air cool air cooled kit cars kit cars and Cobra reps that people try to pass off as Cobras. Or like, Cheetahs. Yeah. Or, or Cheetahs, yeah. I feel even more upset about Cheetahs than Cobras. Yeah, whoever that guy was in Des Moines two years ago. Right. You're still we, mad about it. We <laughs> won't forget. <laughs> Dude, I haven't forgotten. It was right there on the top of my mind. He he was acting like it was real. And we heard people like, there's only like seven of these in the world. Like, bro, you really think there's one of these in Des Moines you, right you now? Think it's, and it's just sitting at, like... In the back, in the all yeah. the way back of good guys, yeah, it's far just, away from... I mean, no. Come on. There's got to be... Do you think... With a license plate on it, stop. Give me a break, yeah. people. Do you think there's like a cur... There's got to... Nah, maybe not. A good guy's like a curator, like a guy there that kind of like, hey, like, there you uh, come up here? Oh, for sure there is. Yeah. There's like got to be staff, have? staff that kind of pay Same attention thing, to that. Right? Like, yeah, can you come to the front of the well, car show? Isn't that the, the parade they do at the end of the show? I suppose, they have all yeah. those people parked there, and me and Josh went through it last year because he won All American Sunday, and people <laughs> got really mad about it. People need to relax. Just I just out, said, out, you at least wash your car. I just showed up to autocross. Yeah, I didn't, didn't know this was going to happen. I just came here to win. <laughs> shit about your car show. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I think that's it. Should we do Adam's opener presented by Factor Fabrication? Yeah. So uh, so this week I was. I think I was just perusing my my Facebook, and this Drive Tribe article popped up about the latest craze in Japanese drifting. And I thought, oh, you know, let's okay, check it out. let's check this out because I saw K cars, and I was like, it might be interesting, right? Apparently, what a, a bunch of what I can only assume are complete and total morons have decided that drifting front wheel drive K cars with PVC around the back tires is cool. Oh, so it's still on the back. Yeah, they put the PVC on the back. Oh, God. Robbie's got a video here. It, Ooh, they're tandeming. They're tanding. It's, Ooh. I mean, it, this is like bumper. Like in the, all the reality, they're cars. actually doing pretty good. They they get decent angle on it. And, I mean, they're they're doing tandems. And it's not the worst drifting I've ever seen by by a large margin. But I don't get it. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's the same concept as putting frying pans on or uh This is a little bit more on, controllable. Because yeah, the probably. wheel can still spin. I, I don't know if I'm that mad about it. I mean, I thought it was really, these people. Really dumb. Weird. Let's be real; they probably wish they had an S chassis, and they don't. So, but you could get doing. rear wheel drive K cars. Mm, you know, just, yeah, so I don't know. And then. it's not like they're letting it all hang out; they're just kind of bumping into each other like a shitty go kart. Maybe the point is you buy like the stupidest, cheapest K car you can find, and then you go do this with your friends on the weekend, and it's like. Better than go karting, 
maybe. Well, so here's my other issue about it. They advertise it as being cheap. very cheap and affordable, right? Okay. And uh, while I'm sure the cars are cheap, I know a thing or two about large diameter PVC. <laughs> it is not, not cheap. cheap. It is not so even close So I, I was going to say, I think you can probably back, because yeah. you're kind of in the mechanical plumbing world. Anytime somebody uh, starts talking about like 16-inch PVC, well, I'm like, so, okay. Yeah, so those are... I, I did a little bit of research. I couldn't quite exactly find it, but I know that the, they run 13-inch rims on those cars. Yep. Yeah. And I know that I had a 20-inch diameter slick on my 13-inch rim. So I Googled 20-inch diameter PVC. PVC, and the only thing I could find besides call for pricing <laughs> was a $13,670 10-foot chunk of PVC. Yeah, where would you even get it when you only need three inches of it? Right. Exactly. I mean, even if can you I all go, to, go can together. I, yeah, can, well, could I go to a... Can no, go, you can't can, buy... You don't no, no. go to Lowe's and buy... You got it. Lowe's, you, but I'm like... No, you got to order. You got to order. I'll bet you... Like a construction site, maybe? Maybe no. one place in this town that you could even go and buy that with... And maybe it would be in stock. Huh. No, but it's, I, it's I don't not... Even know they got to make it. True. They got to make it. Because oh, I've wow. ordered PVC this big, and they have to make it. Or they have it's to have it brought in. That's why everything's call for pricing. So, is it affordable? Maybe you got to have Japan? a guy with the hookup, right? I would imagine that's got to be the situation. Like one of these, one of these guys works for the for a sewer company, and he's just grabbing chunks off the job site. Yeah, oh, we that's... had to cut that pipe two foot short. Oh, I'll take oh, that home yeah, with me. Yeah, and they're not using it, so yeah, that works out. But well. if you had to, if you were like getting going on this and you needed to buy that, good luck. I just saw a price of forty nine hundred, but I'm not sure for what. <laughs> it was twenty inch PVC, but I don't know how much. <laughs> Either way, it's not I cheap. Saw, I found a ten foot stick for six grand. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, it's not cheap. I know it's not cheap. Right. I mean, if you're buying ten thousand feet of it, it's obviously not going to be six grand a stick. But if you just want one ten foot chunk of PVC in oh, twenty inch diameter, it's going to be uh, twenty inch uh, Harrison Super Duct. I assume that's PVC. Uh, it's eighty three dollars a foot, but the problem is you can't buy it per foot. Per foot, you have to buy it in ten foot or twenty foot length. So you're looking at eight hundred and thirty dollars for a stick of it, a ten foot stick. Seems a little less affordable, <laughs> right off the bat. Tires, <laughs> federal <laughs> tires or Ken- Kenda tires seem a lot cheaper. Yeah, it really gets out of control fast. Huh? And That's... that was my big problem with it. It wasn't so much that they're doing. I just uh, yeah, wheel, I mean, t- have and fun. I'm a front wheel drive yeah. guy, but this is dumb. Yeah, I mean, I mean, sure, it sounds fun for like. Half hour, hour maybe. Like, right. but like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't invest a bunch of time and money be, into it. It'd be a kind of a fun YouTube video. It'd be once, a great YouTube once. video. If they're like, hey, <laughs> we've got a stick of PVC that we got from this job site, and we right, have these yeah. three hundred dollar K cars. Do you want to go crash into each other for an hour? And yeah, Thomas films it. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll yeah, go do that. Absolutely. Rent, let's go down to Oskaloosa and just kind of bump into each other for a while. See if we can do mad tandems, yo. The other problem with this too is when the guys from Odrift had the cart that they put the PVC on. You can't. Well, that was that the was drive really, yeah. tires. Yeah, but that shit was flat spotted like immediately. Oh yeah, from them uh, locking the brakes yeah, up. Exactly. Yeah, so it's skidding it. You're not getting like one piece of PVC. No, that's and, like, not going to last you PVC. a season. No, no, you need a stick. So this is more expensive than regular drifting, is what this comes down to. <laughs> you can't group. It's a by total that waste shit. of time. It's a total and complete waste yeah, of time. Yeah, you can't like have ten of your friends go together and buy an eight hundred foot stick of PVC and just give each person a foot. <laughs> no, it's to not. cut in half to put onto your back tires. It's not a thing because that's that's like two, maybe three runs, and you got to put a new piece on it. Yeah, or you're gonna be bouncing up and down. Yeah, that's yeah. maybe that's the fun part. No, that sounds like <laughs> a bad idea. I don't think that'll work anyway because you'll be losing grip. You know what I mean? Whatever grip that well, you do you have. You shouldn't have any grip. You do basically. that pitter-patter thing Front on the Front wheel back. drive drifting, you, you got like no grip at the back. You're just sliding. You're just, it's like the handicapped dog off of uh, Family Guy. <laughs> just dragging his legs behind. My Omni oversteers, and I don't have plastic on the back. I'm just saying. If you, if you really want to be that guy and you want to drift a front wheel drive car, first of all, don't. <laughs> Secondly, with enough sway bar... And enough tire pressure BS, it can be done. Or, or do the tray thing. Save yourself all kinds of money. <laughs> yeah, just or steal just, a bunch of trays from the local food court and go have fun. Or, or uh, Mighty Car Mods did wood, you know, like squares. Or, yeah, uh, what's that? Um, 
that compressed fiberboard shit. Oh, not, like not, MDF uh, or something? Yeah, MDF. That's what they used. That's not the worst idea in the world. So then when it's done, you just throw it away. Like, oh, I lost 30 cents. You know? Right, yeah. <laughs> and you move on with your life. Yeah. For the, literally, again, the 30 minutes that that's fun, <laughs> you do it and you go, right. yeah, all right, I'm done with that. Okay, now where's my S chassis? Yeah, what do I do? I gotta go this, do something different. Is there a racetrack? I've lost interest in this. Is there a racetrack somewhere? All right, now let's do this at 60 miles an hour. Let's do some fun stuff. This is like the first time I think I've ever said, maybe you should just buy an S chassis. I say that like every day. Yeah, but I don't think I've ever said that, Robbie. I'm so proud of you. I know. This it's coming a, around. This is slowly a, but surely. It's going to get <laughs> it took watch two this. years. Watch this. He's going to get Here's an S13. No, 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 no. Prediction. Prediction. Next car for him? S13 hatchback. No, dude. Absolutely not. Are you kidding no, me? I can't do Mr. That. Obscure over here, you think he's yeah. really going to buy an, no. an S13? No. You know what it's going to be? It's going to be older than that. It's going to be a Miata. Oh, no. He's going to do Yeah, dude. Obscure? No dude. way. Okay, not obscure. Not obscure, but think about it. There's no way. No. Nope. Think about it. He, he just went on a rant the other day about how all you know, oh, slow cars are better, driving at 100%. Uh, he didn't see that, though, because yeah. I was in a group he's not a part of. He yeah. was ranting and raving the other day about how slow cars are better because you can drive them at 100% so the on question, the road. The question they posed on Turbo Timer Podcast yep. uh, was. What's better, fast cars or cars that handle well as daily drivers? And my argument on it was, I don't, I don't understand why somebody w- would even want some huge horsepower car. If I had to daily? choose, no. if I had to make the choice between seven hundred horsepower and a car that can't barely take a corner, like some old, you know, muscle car yeah. with a blower, yeah, with a giant blower on it and a big block, or a Miata. A stock Miata, which would I, I would take the Miata because I. Well, can, if those are the options, no, I would not take the Miata. Because but I, I would, can I would use tell that you, car. The right answer is Miata, but there's no way I would take because it. Because I can use more of that car. The, the f- horsepower is just going to get me in trouble. I'm just going to lose my license and take public transportation. And we've talked about my feelings towards public transportation. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of buses or the diseases that they or, carry. Or people in or general. People, people are disgusting. People being people close or touching him. Yeah. So. He sold on a Miata. You no, see what I'm saying? Let's call him. I actually he said, would buy an S13 before a listen, Miata. Listen, I actually said in that argument that the argument I'm posing a Miata is almost too good. You need something that's Whoa. that's even worse. Because even a Miata, it's hard to drive that car at 100% on the streets without being a bit Who of a Who is driving wagon. their car 100% on the streets? It's like the James May argument. You know, Nobody like is. terrible cars are more fun on the streets. On the street than yeah. a really good car. My S10 was way more fun than my Audi was but if you're on dr- the street. If you're, you can't drive any car 100% on the street because sure. you'll go to jail. <laughs> not with that attitude. Or not you'll you kill like, somebody. Not if you have like some terrible fucking <laughs> Nissan th- No, no. <laughs> smart car. This, this is when a Ford Festiva is the best car. Right, yeah. Like a, a one liter Festiva. That a five hundred dollar Festiva is the funniest car you'll ever Festiva. own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, one comes up on Craigslist, and I seriously think about it for a minute. Like, how much stupid shit could you do All of it. with you know, a five hundred dollar Festiva? I kind of hate that's fun. I kind of hate how cool I think those cars kind of look because they've got those little box flares on them and shit. They're kind of oh, cool. Pull it up. Robbie's gonna pull it They're up. They're kind of cool looking. One came up I, uh, that may have been turbocharged once. Yeah, I've seen that, and I was like, "What in yeah, the hell is going on?" Oh, with the blue one. The, That's the, too. Is that too early? Isn't the it? Box Did flares are kind of cool. Is that it? That's what I was thinking of. Is that what you were See, thinking? Now it's gonna about give me a stupid yeah, page. You've gone straight oh, to you porn. See, is what yeah. you clicked on something weird. It's Look at that black day, cock. <laughs> Whoa, Robbie, Jesus! Did you guys ever see Ted too? That's like sure, a yeah, that's, that's whatever, dude, whatever, dude, <laughs> whatever, dude. You yeah, said we'll, it. We'll just zoom in. How about that? Yeah, there it is. See, that would be way more fun than a Miata. Fuck yeah. Because it's terrible. You have 250% behind you yeah. on this one. If you're, if you're going to throw in on the street. Right. Well, that was the be, thing. Then you, a car that you None drive of those are good day. answers. Right. Exactly. That has, was my it has, argument. It has to be the cheapest, the shittiest, worst, funnest one. The worse the car is, the more fun it's going to be every single day. Yeah. If I'm sitting at a stoplight with you know a straight pipe sticking out of this thing, and I'm revving it next to <laughs> Straight <laughs> pipe? And I'm revving it next to some car next to me. like 135s on it. You yeah, know, just yeah. the narrowest. And they're looking at me like, what the fuck is this going to And I just t- take off, and I'm going like, 30 miles an hour? Have, like, yeah, but it. it's 30 miles an hour at full tilt, though. It's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're slamming gears. Yeah, you got yeah. your Sony Explodes jamming in the back. Yes. Literally, there is a woman in the, the minivan we talked about earlier accelerating at a normal pace <laughs> past you <laughs> while her husband's in the passenger seat giving you the weirdest look ever. Like, what in the hell did I just pass? 
But you don't feel bad about it because it's not sporty like the Miata. Because the same thing well, happens yeah. in the Miata, but you you have that like sporting pretension. Plus, your hair's in the wind because you're you know just got, flopping just got your hair done. I get it. Chaz's My. Chaz's Miata license plate is hairdresser, and I couldn't be more proud of him for Asked it. That's a good work. Asked. Good work out of him. Before they took away his TDI, he had a wagon, and it was going to be soccer mom. Nice. So he's going for a look. That's for sure. <laughs> Damn it, I want a 1990 Ford Festiva. <laughs> Might be Adam's next car. He's no, talked into he, it now. That, Dude, that, that's his next daily. Yeah, it's my next daily for sure. That'd be a great gas mileage. Oh, yeah. I bet I that's it. got a really accessible handbrake, too. He can just it does. Rip on it. You know what I'm not going to do is put PVC on the back tires, though. No. I well, got the handbrakes. Rip on the handbrake a little bit. So, so I think okay. that's it, right? That got way out of there, but that's nah, fine. Man, it's I'm, good. Good. I'm good with it's that. It's good stuff. Uh, factorfabrication.com check out all the rad stuff that our buddy Booney can do um, custom stuff he's got inventory on his website as well residential commercial and the guy is an excellent fabricator as I've said before um, state peruse the website statement. excuse like me his business statement no these are statements oh, he's got statement pieces oh. What's is, oh. are those Skateboard rails rails yeah he's yeah. got rails on there ooh and all kinds of different colors yeah I think he, I think they're powder coated, aren't they? Are they? We'll have to ask Booney if he's got a powder coater. I don't think he has. I think he has someone. He's else sending them out. I think actually, so. yeah. In Des Moines, do we have that conversation? In Des Moines, nobody really has a powder. Has there's a like powder two, coater. there's two places in town that powder coats. Yeah, but that's easy. Send stuff out for powder coat. Yeah. So anyway, he's got lots of rad stuff on there. If you have a project in mind, shoot him an email or a message through the site or DM him on Instagram. Um, really cool stuff. We're going to Bacon Fest. You guys aren't going. No, I got because of conflicts, but I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be fun. Neat. I'm it's super jealous about bacon food festivals fest, by the way. in Iowa that people actually want to go to that don't involve testicles. Bacon Fest. I bet you can find it. That food truck one. The food truck one. The the no, it's what's it called? The World Food Expo downtown. That's, That's good. Huge. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, I really I'm, do want to go to Bacon Fest at some point. I was super bummed that I have to work that day slash night. I'm just out of town. We'll see. I don't know what to expect. Everybody like you've never been. I no, and everybody's like, "Oh god, it's crazy!" crazy. No, See, I knew a been. bunch of people know. I used to work with quit going because it got too big and it got too corporate, bro. Yeah, yeah. They were the hipsters of Bacon Fest. Yeah. Well, don't they have like a bunch of like celebrities come in, like a bunch of like, like wrestlers like, from last year? Was on yeah. HGTV what was at like guy's name? eight thirty no, one night. Was uh, oh god, who was it? Doug it, Doug. Hacksaw, 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 Hacksaw yeah! Jim Duggan. Yeah, that's who it was. He was here last year. Who? He's Hacksaw? A, he's a, like, he's like a real wrestler. old school yeah. wrestler. Oh. Did people come because of that? Or Heck yeah. Just, okay. All right. Well, well they, people, they, had, they like, had Charlie Sheen at Comic Con. When you say people, you, you mean like, you know, 40 somethings that remember him in the 80s? Do they have like a. Maybe it was, you know, I don't know. But, like, if, deal, you were, if you were like a bottomless celebrity from the 80s. Us, but. Like 30, 30 years, years from, from now. now? Yeah, right. Like, if someone called you up and like, hey, man, I want you to fly into Des Moines, Iowa. I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. I just need you to go to be on the radio in the morning on the rock show. Yep. And then go to this thing called Bacon Fest where you eat bacon and drink beer. Are you in? Yeah, I would go and I'd bring my cardio with me. It'd be grand old time. <laughs> what do you find on the Bacon Fest website there, Rabbi? I don't know if this is, this isn't just the Des Moines one, but. Yeah, no, it's, it's turned into a deal. It's kind it's, of, yeah, so there's like. Legitimately tour international festival. now. It started here, though, didn't it? I'm pretty sure it did. I think the guys that did it are right know. here in Des Moines. It's an after party concert. Yeah, it's a big deal. I just want to go to eat. Yeah, I just want to go and eat bacon. One. I don't need to do the game, the Olympic bacon games and no, a concert Jesus and all that stuff. We like, got to be the best bacon eater. I don't actually. I Smash just... Mouth is gonna be there. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> shit! Never no, mind. No. Cancel my evening plans. <laughs> I'm no longer leaving town. I'll be here. Smash Mouth. Yeah, anyway, I could just no. pull like a long day, right? Yeah, I could run you'll be a fine. Thirty-six hour day. It'll be all yeah. right. Yeah, for Smash Mouth. Anything's possible. You got to do what you got to do, right? Anyway, that's probably enough Bacon Fest talk. Oh, okay, fine. Should we move on to our topic? If I must. Uh, so I got back last week from the Chicago Auto Show. So I was, we were, I was, admitted for media again this year, which we did last year. We did our, or no, done, wait, is this the third time I've done this? Same yeah. time with media. Third second, time you've been since we okay. started the show. Holy shit, we've talked about Chicago Auto Show three times on this podcast? Yes. yes. Damn, it's, it's getting repetitive. <laughs> it's almost our most reoccurring guest. It theme. is, yeah. Theme, theme or sure, topic or whatever. Reoccurring, reoccurring topic. So, 
Um, anyway, it's a good time for those who don't know. It's in Chicago. It's um, it's they claim it's the world's biggest auto show. I don't know if that's by attendance or by size. It could be both because McCormick Place, where they hold it, is over a million square feet, and they use all of it, to my knowledge. Um, so it's it's more of a consumer oriented car show. It's um, mostly cars that you can buy. There's not really concepts. There's not usually concepts. There are some concepts. There's some, some ridiculous stuff, stuff. There's some stuff here that like Roddy's They're looking not unveiling at. Unveiling cars there are they? Not really. They unveiled some limited edition Subarus, but like talking color packages. So it's not Jesus. not anything crazy. This is more for people to come in and actually look at cars and check out their infotainment systems. Check out their infotainment systems. Press the screen. Like yes, touchscreen's got good feedback, and then they buy an Acura. But <laughs> <laughs> and. <laughs> That just came flying out of my mouth. I can't even help myself. Ah, might as well throw crazy. that. Might as well throw that just, PR contact away because they're never calling me again. Because um, she listened. I'm sure, she did. Uh, but anyway, Robbie's going through some stuff at Toyota. Toyota had a great booth this year. They like rented half of one hall. It was insane. But they brought everything. <laughs> a lot of concepts. Like they had the Rutledge Wood Camry there. Um, that actually that. looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's, it right? was cool. Oh, I'll, I'll go back. Uh, so that's it right there. Uh, oh, really? Yep. So that Rutledge would design that. Oh. Um, if you go to the if you go to the Facebook page and go back and find the gallery, which I'm sure Adam will probably reshare, Rebos. it'll be in there somewhere. Like, there's the sign, the plaque that has you know everything that he chose, um, his parts, and there's a story there. No, I didn't read all that stuff, but if you're in, if you're a Rutledge Wood fan, there it is. I'm surprised they picked a Camry of all things. I suppose. They do weird stuff to their Camrys, though. Toyota has kind of a history of making concept or making custom cars out of Camrys. For as terrible and boring as they are, it's not the worst looking car in the world when it's no. done up. No, they had that. What was it? The S package for them? Yeah. I mean, it was like I mean, it was just like a lip kit, but I mean, it looked alright. Right, but you could get them with like, like we were talking earlier, some three hundred horsepower V six, and they're they're probably actually pretty quick. We'll see you later, honest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you make it triple the horsepower of the wheels of a Miata, I mean, uh, you're without doing Without even good. trying. Yeah. Without even trying. Um, <laughs> you, and, you and four of your lost, friends. We lost so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We lost all of our Miata listenership this week. Adam did the list. The Subaru owners and who else? Who else have we offended? All of them. I, I like to think owners. that we equally opportunity offend Hey, everybody. you know what? LS is fucking suck too. How about yeah, that? Well, shit on everybody. I don't mix care. Mix it in all together. Now everybody's offended. We're all ricers. It, it doesn't matter. You've all done something stupid to your car. There. Is everybody offended? All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I every time I go to this, this has probably been like it's gotten. I don't want to say worse. It's become more evident the more I go to this, especially on media day. And I didn't feel like I had to be, you know, uh, media like got to go to the thing and the whatever. Like I didn't go to Subaru did a presentation. We didn't go to that. Or they they, they had like the COO came in and talked for breakfast. Didn't do that. Um, I remember you did, did that last year, didn't you? Did it for Dan, Dan the, Man. the Man, which Dan the Man's pretty cool. Was, or was that... Uh, no, that was Ralph. See, oh. that was the difference. Ralph was in the morning, and then Dan the Man was lunch, and you're kind of like, come on, that's pretty sweet. These <laughs> right, dudes are yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, but the Subaru guy was in the morning, and I don't know what he's talking about. And then the Volkswagen guy was in for lunch, and like, I don't... I can't even remember what he was talking about. I was so bored. Could you understand him, or was he very German? <laughs> he was extremely German. Excellent. I'm really glad that they went with that, at yeah, least. Yeah, but he was, he, he's the, I think he's a North American CEO, or um, or US CEO, I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, like, I couldn't, like, there wasn't enough sleeping that could be done in there, so I had to leave. <laughs> he probably um, just <laughs> recently got that position, because the eight people above him are in jail. Uh, I now, think that's so he, semi-true. he just kind of ended up there. I accident. think that's semi true. He was middle management until like six months ago. He's big time now. <laughs> yeah. Um so anyway, I didn't do that. I went to one press conference for Subaru, which, you know, I don't know. So my point was, I guess, that I just when I experience it, I am reminded and I was reminded by the emails about the infotainment and all that <laughs> stuff. So like there's there's just there's people that love cars like us. And this podcast and the people who listen to the podcast who all have shitty cars. And then... <laughs> <laughs> he 
It's, it's true. We have shitty cars too, yeah, right? Absolutely. Don't even look at yeah, that. My, my car sucks. Yeah, I, have, car sucks. I have four cars and three of them won't oh, start. So suck. what do you want from me? <laughs> they all suck. My car has a '90s Caprice motor in it, Robbie. Cop Everybody's car, car sucks. Cop car motor. No, 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 no. no. Cop Let's, car it's motor. a it's a family sedan. <laughs> Relax. Okay. Mine's going straight to hot import nights. Whatever. <laughs> So anyway, my point is, there's people that love cars that have shitty cars, and then there's people that I don't know that any of them actually like cars. And it really makes me wonder. You sit there through the meetings, and you talk to people, and they're like, oh, I'm a marketing person for this, or like, I have a company, and we explore new avenues for creative... Uh, <laughs> Like you know, and then like this, and then like this green synergy. green branding and synergy, and we look at vertical integration, and you're like, nobody here likes cars. This is all you people are boring. Everybody, you just throw out so many like buzzwords. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's what they say right now. But that's what they do. Like so, you just you get you're not annoyed, but you just sit there and you go, here's what's wrong with the industry, just journalism and information transfer in general, is that. Maybe these people love cars. I think probably the most disheartening thing would be if you were someone that really loved cars and then you went and worked for a car company. You're like, hey, you're the you're a marketing manager now, and your job is to tell people how sick this color is. Like, you just this is your thing. Like, okay, we have the Subaru BRZ. I don't want you to talk about how it handles because that's not interesting. I want you to talk about this new limited edition color. <laughs> no, I'm being. I'm we being know serious. it's not turbo. Drop it. I'm being. I'm being serious. <laughs> We want you to talk about this new limited edition color for literally the next eight weeks. At every, how soul crushing would that be? Every auto show across the country. How how interested? Like, if you loved cars, how much would that suck? That was that was always my biggest fear. Like when I was in engineering school, like if I would have got into automotive, that I would end up hating automotive. Like just just cars in general. I mean, like you know, if I would have gone to Detroit and took in one of those jobs there that I, I was applying for. Would I even be into cars right now? Like, would I would I do anything to get away from them? That's why I'm not a Maybe. mechanic. Right, same thing. Yeah, I spent oh, all, I th- all day working on someone else's car. I'm not gonna go home and work on mine. Yeah, right, exactly. We're gonna hate that. I'm gonna go play video games or something, anything. Yeah. So that's the large majority of this. You get kind of it's a weird culture that is is it's prevailing and it's hard to get away from. And then it's it's kind of a circular thing where you know, Volkswagen's talking about sustainability, and I work for Nissan, so I better talk about sustainability because right. we're way more sustainable than Volkswagen. So we got to go on this and talk about this, and then these people are talking about car, Apple CarPlay. So we better, well, we got CarPlay and we got Google, and you know, it's just like it's like you guys. I think there are some people there that love technology too, which is yeah. where the line starts getting really really blurry. Is there's some people that love technology, but now the cars are full of so much technology that that's all people talk about because those people love technology. Like the guy next to me at the Volkswagen lunch was talking about, he's like, man, I got to go to CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. Like, oh, so great. It's going to be awesome. And everybody else at the table is like, yeah, CES would be sweet. And, it's and you know, I like... It'd be cool, I'm sure. It'd be but- cool. But then you realize that these people just like new stuff, you know what I mean? New technology and changes right. and stuff. They just don't... the The act of driving is not as exciting for them as it is for other people or at least for us anyway. So then you wonder how many consumers act that way too, or does that mentality get shoved down people's throat by marketing people? That's why people stand in line for the new iPhone. That's not any different than the last iPhone. It's just slightly bigger or slightly smaller or whatever it is. that's slightly different. A little bit shinier. A little bit shinier. Yeah. It's new. Yeah. And And people like new. People like new. Right. People like, Connectivity, they're like new. They're like better buttons. And I drove an hour to get a five because I wanted the old one. <laughs> I get that. I still have a Samsung. Because it was the right five. size and I liked it. <laughs> so, anyway. Did Volvo even bring cars? No, they, well. <laughs> they brought their baristas. I and, was, uh, listen, dude, Volvo. Their baristas were out in force. Volvo was. I know you stayed there for a long time. I was even, there for a long time. Do they time. even make a car? There's one sitting on top of their roof. They, there's another Volvo in there. I don't see you it. Keep the scrolling. Coffee. You, that station coffee. wagon that coffee. they make is a coffee. Look at that. That's a that's gorgeous. A Nissan. That's a Nissan. That's a Go Nissan. back. Go back. That's a coffee. gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> that right there. That's a gorgeous car. That car is what? awesome. The, yeah. Car's dude, are you kidding me? Dude, okay. That's a sweet Taurus wagon you got no. there. That's a. 
Uh, that doesn't even look like a Taurus. You want to? Okay, so <laughs> it's brands, one of the best new cars. On brands the that stand Get out. out of here. No, it yeah, is. It is, Rob. It's probably the brands, safest. Brands that stand out. Volvo is one of them. I'm telling you, and they have been for a long time. That thing you can get it with a turbo six cylinder engine. That's fun. I th- that you can get it with all wheel drive. That's fun. Lots of space. Lots of pale woods. Very well designed. It's very it's northern very European. It's, uh, extremely practical, but also very cool looking and very fast. They're very stylish. That is not what I can. Volvo stylish. does things like. They were telling me about this because I was there for a long time because there was coffee. <laughs> Dude, their their coffee says Volvo. It, the coffee does say Volvo on it. So it's out of control. While we're on the coffee, how do so they do that? Somebody... That's a mocha. So they had they had an espresso Jesus machine. Christ, you can go through the thing. You can go through the pictures and look. They, were, they had an espresso machine. They had baristas there. So they make they make the mocha, which is chocolate, obviously. And then what they did is they had a stencil, a Volvo stencil. And they put it on top of the mug. Oh, when that doesn't it was count done. then if it's a stencil. And it was chocolate. Whoa, are you gonna hand do that by hand? <laughs> yeah. What are you a maniac? I've, no, you can't do that by stuff. hand. Yes, times, you, it's times chocolate, this. Robbie. Yes, Robbie, you times can. ten thousand though. How many of those did they give out for? How day? long this guy spent on his mustache? You, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold on. He was a nice man, Robbie. <laughs> He's a very nice man. <laughs> Shit. He made a nice cup of coffee. I'm sure he did. I'm just giving him a hard time. So anyway. Volvo. God, I don't want coffee right now. I know. It was good stuff. Lots of coffee. Lots of coffee options. <sighs> uh, Everybody's jittery as hell, but I had the whole oh, band. I was there the longest because there was coffee. And I would have stayed there too. So weird. I would never have guessed that. Sarcasm. Yeah, exactly. They had nice cars. They're talking about the cars. And apparently there was a hot British chick there too. I did, there was a British lady that helped me look at some Volvos. Yes. Oh, <laughs> she's not in this picture? She's not in the frame. Well, no, she's not in the picture deck. You didn't take a picture. I didn't take a you picture. She took a picture with her. Hey, selfie. That's kind of on the nose. You should have, man. That would have been great. You could have done it for the video. We could have the been YouTube those video. Could have been it like was, it was too on the nose, Robbie. It was she too obvious. She would have loved it though. Yeah, I don't know about that's that. That's the most attention she'd get you, all day. Did you give her your card? Shut up, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> did you give her your cell phone number? No. Why not? Because she's some foreign chick. This is a city. random <laughs> woman from a car show, Robbie. That's fate. It could be fate. This this could have been a love story. It's Valentine's Day for God's <laughs> sakes. It could have been 10 Tens Podcast Discovers Love. <laughs> oh, wow. But no. Mr. I'm Sad and Alone on Valentine's Day. Hey, I didn't Forever say that. Alone. Didn't say that. You don't know me or my personal life. It's okay. We're spending Valentine's Day together. I don't yeah, exactly. Know. We're all yeah, here exactly. on Valentine's Day. It's pretty sad. Anyway. So anyway, Volvo has, they have some great cars. You took a picture of great one. Great design. You took a picture of one. I was distracted. There was coffee and they stuff. They only make one. What? No, they, they make like four. They, they make this still. SUV thing on the yeah, roof. No it looks like a Honda CRV. But we don't care about SUVs. No. Yeah, I took a picture of the interesting thing. Don't, don't they have like a? Don't they have a, a coupe or not coupe? Don't they have a? They have a little thing. They got yeah. no. That's, that's gone not, now. That's, not, not that's okay. gone. Is it gone? I that yeah, was I dead. See, I got this cut. is the problem. We don't know. No, I thought it was an okay looking car. C ninety. Yeah, it's gone. The or seventy. I don't know what anyone were called, but yeah, the V ninety. So anyway, their performance package is called Polestar. Hey. Think about it, Robbie. <laughs> think about it, Robbie. Just think about it for a second. I like it. <laughs> okay. I like so anyway, it's coming around to Volvo now. Coming back to cars for people that actually like cars. Volvo, yes, great design. Uh, they make some fast stuff. They make some fun stuff. Um, Mercedes, AMG. You're gonna have to go to the website because if if you want to see or just Google search, Google search E63 AMG interior. Um, Did you take a picture of it? I couldn't because it was too dark in there. Oh, shoot. For their, they had like mood lighting in their booth. Um, of course they I'm did. sorry, but everybody else, everybody who says that like Mercedes or uh, BMW or Audi or whatever makes a better car than Mercedes, stop talking to me because you're <laughs> not even, it, Mercedes isn't even in the same ballpark. They're playing a different game than everybody else is. I believe It's just that, that much better. It's hard to believe. You get in, you look at all these cars. You you get kind of uh, numb to everybody's, you know, interiors and all this stuff. And then you get in a Mercedes and you go, "Holy shit! This is a different, next, next level different stuff. level of insanity. The surfaces, the polishing they do on the wood, all the tucking on the leather, and it's just like no button placement. The technology kind of blends into it. It's not quite so obtuse, and you're just like." 
No. You got BMW might as well just quit, or they need to spend about another two hundred billion dollars on their <laughs> interior department because it's not even not even playing in the same game. Um, plus, you know, they make a five hundred some horsepower rear wheel drive sedan. That's yeah, they good. make great cars. They make a lot of great like, cars. As far as horsepower and performance figures are concerned. A lot of money. So are you saying that they have a better interior than, than the Longhorn? Yes. Uh, uh, in fact, yes. So I do want to talk about bad things. Let's keep talking about good things because oh, okay. Robbie paused we'll on one. We'll come back to bad uh, yeah, things. Yeah, I want to keep uh, another good one. Um, right here. The, yeah, we'll come back to that. <laughs> I'm super into that. Thing. The Maserati booth. Oh, yeah. Uh, Maserati, again, they're playing a different game than everybody else. So we go in there. You guys are supposed to be. Extremely helpful. Uh, I talking to him a little bit more about the Gran Turismo and um, this is the MC pack and it's got you know carbon fiber hood which I'm sure Robbie salivated uh, over um, carbon, carbon fiber, fiber paddle paddles shifters. carbon fiber seats carbon fiber rear bumper carbon fiber uh, carbon fiber everything's carbon fiber um, 165 thousand dollars which is a lot of money but doesn't seem that bad for what you, yeah for that card for exclusivity. Right. For a carbon fiber Maserati? Yeah. Eh, you do what you gotta do. You buy it in a few years for 20, but I mean, it's whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Depreciation's gonna suck. It's about it's as bad point. as a Jaguar. It's a fair point. It's uh, probably worse, actually. But, it's you know. Bad. It's bad. It's, yeah. If you buy that from the Maserati dealer, you're gonna be the Maserati dealer's favorite customer for like the next two years. Because, you know, you bought the flagship though. Maserati. Ferrari's not gonna give a shit what you do. No. I'm just gonna say this. That motor looks like an LS. Very much so. That uh, that intake manifold that sits on the top of that that looks like an LS to me. Don't give away my future plans. <laughs> <laughs> Just sticking a Maserati badge on top of your I I may have my, ta- may have my tape intake. measure out and I was looking at stuff, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. This'll fit. Uh the interesting thing though is when I was talking to him, he's like, Yeah, you know, we don't they don't really give us anything to say. They just take us out on track days. And then we come in here and we talk about how much we love Maserati. And I was like, I feel like that works pretty well. That's Gosh, a way better approach than when you go to like Jeep, for instance. And you know, nothing against that guy that did the Jeep thing, but he's an actor. You know, that on the YouTube video when I did the Jeep experience, he's an actor. He just, you know, if he's not an actor, he does that full time. You know, I know GM hires actors to do their PR, people, whatever you want to call those people, on the show floor. And then the guy from Maserati's <laughs> like, yeah, we took this. I can't remember where he said he took it, but he's like, yeah, we went out with the Ferrari test drivers and. They showed us how to drive them and blah, 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 and went through all this, you know, information about the car. And, you know, he's just, it's like talking to a person instead of talking to... Someone that actually gives a shit about Yeah, he loves Maserati. And it's like, okay, this is, a, you know, there's a light at the end of this tunnel, <laughs> and it might be Maserati. <laughs> yeah, cars I can never afford. So. Right. Of course. Um, AMG's a little cheaper. I mean, that helps. Volvo's exceptionally cheaper. Yeah. You want things you and can afford? Last. You want things you can afford? Kia Stinger? Very excellent. Can I find that? It's at the end, right? It's at the end. It's bright uh, orange. There's a bright orange, orange one. There's an orange. That's the the wide bodied one. Oh, hold on. There it is. Um, yeah, great. I mean, it's as good it's as a, James May said it was. It's a neat looking car. It's. I think that that's going to be a hell of a car to like selling wise. I think that they've got something there. I completely agree. I'm it's so. you know for enthusiasts, especially as soon as they get that ECU hacked. I mean. <laughs> uh, it's it's, I think there, people man. are gonna buy it, man. It's kind of like it's in my mind. It's kind of like a Maserati for a third the cost or a quarter the cost. You know, it's did got, you get to sit in it and stuff like that? Is oh yeah, it a nice yeah. interior. Oh, is yeah. it a nice place to be? Yeah, it's a, it's it's extremely nice. Well, I think their timing is perfect too, because I mean, we just like uh, not just lost, but like the Pontiac G 8s gone, the Chevy SS is gone. I mean, I think what, this is cheaper than those. Well, yeah, but yeah. What, what else is comparable to this that you could afford? Well, you can't or, afford because you. You know, that to me is a an M3 competitor. Right. And there certainly aren't a $40,000 car. No. Oh, M3s are like 90 grand. Yeah. Though. Shit's out yeah, of so control. Yeah, so this isn't a class by itself. Really? In a price it range by itself. Yeah. V6 rear wheel drive, I think, is 38. And you get really good options just from selecting the V6 package. So right. you're, you know, you could realistically buy one at 38. Do they have a smaller motor package? They do. Oh, Starts really? at thirty three thousand dollars. I just assumed that it was they were all the the, the one motor turbo two cylinder two hundred seventy horsepower. You're probably not going to be that four upset cylinder? about that. Yeah, not two cylinder. Oh, two liter four <laughs> two cylinder liter, four yeah. cylinder okay. turbocharged. But you're not going to be. I don't think you're going to be like super the upset Julia, about it. Then right, yeah. like a base Julia. Yeah. Except again, thirty three to thirty five thousand dollars. Yeah. 
Yeah, the Julia doesn't cost that little. I would assume. And I think it's a base model Julia. I think it's bigger Is than it? a Julia. Yeah, it's pretty big. I saw a Julia today downtown. Yeah, uh, just a base model Julia. They're selling them. It was moving even under its own power, no less. Wow, mm, impressive. Yeah. I assume he just bought it. Yeah, it, like today. Yeah, he didn't get it last year. Right. <laughs> Still got a warranty, is what you're saying? So. so. Um, the new Veloster is pretty sweet. There's some pictures of that in there. They got the N version with got the same pipes. same two liter the heck is it? as the Kia. So that'd be pretty cool. Looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, so we could switch over to bad stuff now if you guys want to. That is not a Veloster, Robbie. I don't know where it is. It's in there somewhere. Keep going. You keep think going, it'd be in the going. Hyundai booth? Nah. There's there a is. terrible oh, velocity. There it no. is. There's no, your that awesome velocity. They went to the they went to O'Reilly's and was like, "Hey, <laughs> I'll so, take all of this wall." Here's the problem. And though. I'll slap it so together. What were they trying to? Pitch it's, this it, this as? is a Marvel. Marvel had them build this. Marvel Comics. Yeah, it's going to be purpose? in a movie. Oh Jesus Christ! It's a movie car. Somebody said. Somebody commented on the is Facebook like page of what it is. It or some shit? It's got like American Racing or Craigers, and of course, it's got huge wheels on the back, which doesn't make any sense. And it's got side, side pipes, pipes and, <laughs> and it's like terrible well, flame. Well, that graphics. hood scoop doesn't do anything. The hood it's scoop just... was like RTV'd on there too. <laughs> Marvel pay. Somebody. Is that... All right, everybody, welcome to Due to My Rice or <laughs> 3 or 4, whatever one it is. Yeah. Dude. We don't have enough time for this car. Holy it's, cows. Did they do anything to the interior? I, I couldn't tell. Oh, okay. They really dropped the ball. For those listening, it's purple as well, and yeah. it has flames. Yellow flames. And, and go it's, the face it's got kind of like the lowrider wheels, and they stick out weird. It's a bad deal. It's not a bad color purple. I don't mind the color. <laughs> yeah, if they just stopped there. Yeah. Now, and not put side pipes. They should have put purple LEDs under it. I'm actually into the side pipes. You can't open the door. <laughs> you can't open Robbie's hated door. That's true. Oh, I didn't think about that. The back door, you couldn't open. You can't it, open could it. You? No, not of a bitch. At least you're fine on the driver's side. <laughs> Go back one more, Robbie. Go one more. One more. One more. So there's the N. So the the guy that they stole from BMW M division. This is his Veloster, the N. It's creative guy. Are you into German. It? Oh yeah, dude. It's it's awesome. How much? Don't know. Don't remember? No. No, he did, don't, they don't they don't know yet. They have a, no price, no There's, power, no nothing. Uh power, same two liter again. So two hundred and seventy horsepower. It's got a mechanical front differential. Um but I don't know the price. They don't they it doesn't it. get any bump in power. No, no, mine was only two hundred. Oh, okay. This Makes is two seventy. Okay, yeah. but out of the same motor. I got you. No. I had a 1.6. This is a 2 liter. Oh. Same motor as a Stinger. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm there. Yep. And uh, extremely nice. The other thing they said, see how long they stick to this, but N cars have manuals. Yay. That's it. That's all you get. Perfect. Like There's no option on that. Just Take get a note, manual. Nissan. Those Koreans get it. So, interested to see what else that they, uh, what else comes out of that division. Should be pretty fun. Uh, other things that were terrible. Um, either find the Lexus or the Ram. The Ram. Oh Here's the Ram. God. The Longhorn uh, Edition three, Ram. The 3500. Go to the outside. Let's get, you know, it's it's a big vehicle. Oh, it's man, a 3500 Dually. I saw a 3500 brown or something. 3500 HD Silverado on the way here to work with, or on the way to the podcast. And you had Dualies. I was like, oh, were, man. were you able to get around it? Yeah, is, that, like, oh, okay. is that a like, man, Is that still a thing? I don't think that Mega Cab caught can you, on. Can you get a Mega Cab dually? Because that's a truck. I don't think you can. No? I don't think that Mega Cab thing I st- stuck. I hate the idea. No, uh, nothing wrong with it. No. A lot of leg room in the back. What's the big deal? Well, Next it, it was a bunch of- Nine inches or it something? It was a bunch of storage space behind the seat, too, which is kind of nice. Put your guns and whatnot. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Here. Guns and dogs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Some liquor. Absolutely. Uh, so, anyway- uh, this thing is a rolling monstrosity on six wheels. It's awesome. It, it is not awesome, Robbie. <laughs> this thing is complete it's garbage. So bad. Go to the gauge, and I'm going to need you to zoom in, Robbie. Oh, it's so bad. It's got okay. So it's Longhorn Edition, as Robbie said, or whatever. It doesn't really matter what it is. Oh, it's got this, yeah, you caught it. You caught it. It's got stupid. It's like a, it's got like uh, it's that shit they put on the side of cowboy boots. That weird pattern that's like not tribal, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's kind of tribal. It's that like cowboy tribal shit. Uh, it's all around the outside of the gauge. It's etched. There's it's, the word I'm looking for. Yeah, etched. but but go to the fuel gauge or no? What is that down there? The cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, oh. yep. There you go. More of that shit is on the fuel gauge. <laughs> it's it, so. Bad. It's kind of like, yeah. It's like the flower looking thing. Yeah. Yep. 
Perfect. Oh on the DEF God. gauge. Perfect. It's on the other side, too. Oh, oh, my God. And then if you move to the next thing, the, the center console Wood. is covered in like what looks like a glitter accident. You see that? No, that's Gold Flake. <laughs> it's not, though. It's Gold Flake. It's, Robbie, it's not Gold Flake. <laughs> It was a glitter accident inside the vehicle, it's, and they just clear coated over it. But Rowdy, it's a hundred thousand dollar truck. I know this would be sweet. It's out of. It's I could, stupid. I could show everything you can, in this. You're telling me you would buy this and show it to your friends and family, and they wouldn't look at you like you're a psychopath. Does this come with a free cowboy hat? I don't know what you work out with your I dealer. Be, I don't know. I bet if I went to Dodge and I said I want this pickup, but only if you give me a hat. I I bet it comes with a pair of Wranglers and a Stetson. I want boots, a hat, and a belt buckle. You get a big Dodge Longhorn belt buckle. <laughs> they should sell shit tons of those. <laughs> they would too. I know they would. They should. They, should need, be- they need to hire Ferrari's like marketing. Mer- yeah, their guy, merch guy. Their merch guy, and just go hog wild. If you buy that, you can feel free to lose my phone number. <laughs> Like, I don't even want to be your friend anymore. Dude, I would tow so I much would stuff. Question, I would tow everything. I would question your taste in literally everything. <laughs> everything you've ever going to do. Any decision you're going to make from now on? I, I'm do not, anyway, eh, I don't know. I mean, let's be real. Is anybody watching Robbie right now? Because <laughs> he just spent $100,000 on a truck that has a bunch of Paisley bullshit on the inside of it. <laughs> it's on the seats, Robbie. It's, I know, it's just and it's stitched, it's Those seats stitched are so on just, bad. just like a boot. It's so it's bad. It's the boot leather thing, it's and, that, but well, it's on the seat. That's just it's, it, it looks like saddle leather, but it's clearly the, not. I love the cowboy tribal. Man. That's exactly what that is. I don't care. How else you, what else tribal. would you call it? I had to get away from it. It may be some other places, but that was as much as I could take. Because I literally got in it and went, holy shit. <laughs> See, I, in its full like outside form, like as it sits just... Not counting the interior, it's very intimidating. It's pretty awesome. Truck. It's a big, it's a big it's, beast you know, of a truck. I would love to pull stuff with it. Yes, sitting in it and no. knowing I spent a hundred thousand dollars on that shit, I would be like, man. But you know what? As many of those as they can make, they will sell all of them. Oh yeah, and they'll all be in Texas and Oklahoma. Yep, ranchers. Yep, rich ranchers, bunch of cattle. Yeah. I got a, I got two hundred head of cattle. He's gonna buy that. Two hundred? Nah, more like well, two hundred thousand. Like, well, like yeah, this is like a tiny. I don't farm. Know what the fuck do you do with cows? Like, <laughs> like a small farm has like two hundred. Yeah, cows. no shit. I don't know. My what are you looking at me like that, that for? Even like a little dairy has like one hundred and sixty cows on yeah. it. Yeah, and that's that's only the milking cows. This is information I don't need. Everyone needs these. <laughs> no. You're in Iowa. We all need to know this. No, know your culture. No, dude. After all the snow and shit, I don't want to live here anymore. <laughs> Yeah, you can move to Texas with these Longhorns. <laughs> yeah, they don't have to buy one. Okay, so go uh, from here. Nah, can I'm stuck on the truck. No, go to Lexus. Hold oh on, God. I gotta go to the front of the Lexus first. Let's start there. Uh, oh, so this oh. is the Wait, that's LS. Not, that's not Lexus, but I like this car. Oh, you want to look at that? Yeah, it's the, the, uh, the Mercedes. Is satin like really popular right now? There Mercedes a, likes some satin. There's a bunch of satin. Mercedes, Mercedes likes that's some a satin. Mercedes thing. Am I am I late AMG. to the game with my satin or my? Noticing it just I think because you're I late. have satin. I think you're just noticing okay. it. You're, you're late to the AMG game. AMG plays by their own rules. I don't. I can't keep up with AMG. I know. You get AMG badges for the front Racer. Nissan. Racer. So anyway, find that stupid Lexus. Find the front of that thing. So we've talked about yeah, it before. Uh, go up a little bit, Robbie. Um, oh, hold on one sec. Oh, here it is. I don't, there we go. Okay, so this is the yeah. LS. This is the new LS. Uh, four doesn't Jesus matter. Christ. None of us are going to buy it. So you're drawn to the grill, which we've talked yeah, about it's before. Instantly, just it the pulls problem with you in. this one is it's like multifaceted. If you zoom back in, Robbie, Why do you so it like thing? glitters and it's got different surfaces is and this, it does crazy is crap. Is this the Lexus brought to you by Gillette? Uh, yes. I just see Lady Shaver facial razor. Yeah, sponsored by Harry's. Uh, so that's terrible. No, yeah, it's can not you move terrible. to the? No, it's it's, bad. it's acceptable. It's not so it's, bad. On can this you, car, no, it's not bad. No, can you move bad. to the next one? This oh thing that makes weird. me furious. I literally opened the door, and I don't know if the Lexus <laughs> woman, uh, uh, Lexus woman, heard me or not. I went, "What the fuck is that?" I literally came out of my mouth before I could stop myself. <laughs> Go to the next picture. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> no, Why so would you take the time to describe that? this to the people? It's here. it looks like it looks like a spider okay, web. Kind so of. it's in the door panel. It's 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 on the door handle. In the back, oh, but I had to leave. Man. I had it's to get out of there. It's it's bigger in the it back. It looks like crystal. It looks like cut crystal, but it's plastic, and of it's in the door. It is. Of course, it's, it's not even metal. Plastic. No, 
It's plastic. It could even be like fake glass. But look at know? the door panel too. It's got this like it lo- it's, it's like feather. It looks yeah, like, it's like it look, feathered. It looks yeah. But it's not it's attached quilted. on the bottom, so you can like run your fingers through it. I oh, like Jesus it. Christ. What is happening? <laughs> You have the worst taste of any human being I've Are ever met. Are you just now realizing? I don't know this. what this is. Okay. I think it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is like one. You're like you're already one step towards your VIP car with this one. Yeah, he's you're, got a good point. You're All this thing needs is curtains and some rims. It may have had some and curtains a, and a uh, chandelier, disco ball. Yeah, no oh, okay. chandelier. Oh, uh, I don't know VIP stuff. Man, get on your get on your VIP game. No, uh, so that was terrible. Yeah. Um, Obviously, we talked about the infotainment center on this Acura. The monstrosity of uh, that was the Veloster. A couple other things, I couldn't even bear to bring myself into the Porsche booth because I'm not even remotely in the right tax because bracket. You buy a hundred and forty thousand dollar Cayman. It's a hundred and eighty thousand. Oh god! This, this, yeah, so that this is a nine eleven uh, Targa, Targa four GTS. That's a isn't that kind of like the base model? No, not the GTS. That's no, the GTS getting up is there near up there. the top. Uh, but I don't know that that's justified in any way, shape, or form. It's one hundred eighty thousand dollars U.S. You, dollars. You, either, you if, either dropped the one. <laughs> you asked like, is this Canadian? Dollar? I asked like, is this pesos? Because you got to be shitting me. <laughs> yen, maybe. Yen, perhaps. <laughs> yen, I'm in. I'm in for sure on yen. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And then you get in the inside, you're like, yeah, okay, whatever. You can have it's just you a, can have it's a carbon have fiber to, Maserati. Yeah, that sounds like literally like a Civil War battlefield. Or you <laughs> but can in have a good way. Yeah, yeah. Or you can have this Porsche. That sounds kind of like a Volkswagen. It sounds like an air cooled Volkswagen, and then <sighs> no one will ever let you out of any side turn ever, or let you merge or get out of your way. No. People just get out of your way when you're in a Maserati. Now, if I had one hundred eighty thousand dollars, this is this is not the car. But Porsche doesn't even have to try. No, they can put sell. together shitty interiors. They can put together terrible cars, and people will be like, "Oh my god, have you seen it? It's the new Porsche. The new Porsche. I need three. There was a GT2 RS sitting next to it, three hundred and thirty-four thousand oh. dollars. No, that's it. insane. It's this. It's like the same price as a Lamborghini Performante. Yeah, and like that's literally the fastest car you can buy with money right now. Pretty close. It's At the least like fastest around the Nurburgring, they say, and the fastest around the Top Gear test track. Right. And it and there is a picture of one in there because for somebody that saw three of them, weird. The back of it is that chopped carbon fiber <sighs> that Rob it it is spectacularly yeah, yeah. good. I thought it was a lot closer. I'm sorry. Robbie's no, it's okay. Yeah, there there oh, it is. Oh. Yeah. It's that chopped up carbon is fiber. That, is that uh, is it forged? Is that what the, is that what it is? It, yeah, maybe that's, that's what, what it's called. Doing? That looks cool. But the that's, spoilers that's that way, the rear valence is that way, the side skirts are that way. God damn! Get out of here, man. La- yeah, well, right. Well, Lamborghini, Get the Lamborghini. Lamborghini's got their own carbon division. Like they're on a whole nother level. And Porsche probably outsells them three to one. Oh, I'm sure they do. Why? At the same price bracket. Yeah. If if you have three hundred eighty thousand dollars and you have two choices in car, why would it ever be the Porsche? I I don't know. If you put those two next to me and they're like, you could have a Targa or you could have this stupid, or you could have, or you could have the GT2, I guess. You have a GT2 or you could have this shouty Lamborghini thing that's probably not road legal, but somehow we got it passed. I'll take it. Yeah, please. <laughs> you had me at not road legal. Yeah. You had me at satin and carbon. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, yeah, I just, it is quite it, silly. Man. That's cool. It is quite silly, but, uh, yeah, and then uh, Mitsubishi, they brought a whole yeah. bunch of Mirages. What's that funky looking Mitsubishi thing going on? I don't have a clue. There? Did you take any? <laughs> yeah. No, that I... old ass car with a new interior, that's a Mitsubishi. That is a yep. Mitsubishi. Is that a new Mitsubishi? I wouldn't know. They don't make anything. <laughs> Click on the next what picture. What is it, Robbie. though? What's going on there? So What's it looks about? like. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Volkswagen thing. It looks like their old, like their first car they ever made. And then they put all of their modern Least. interior in it. Here's the thing, though. I couldn't ask any of the booth girls because they were all on their phone because nobody <laughs> talks to them anyway. So. <laughs> awesome. They were literally, because they'd been standing there literally all day with no one talking to them. They were, they were which I don't even blame them. No. no, absolutely not. What are you going to do, fire me? Yeah, exactly. Please. They won't be there next year. Eh, whatever. So anyway, that's uh, Chicago Auto, Chicago Auto Show. A uh, bunch of people talking about technology that we don't care about, and some brands that are keeping the flame alive. 
Does Tesla ever have booths there? No. They can't be bothered with busy launching stuff into space. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you're right. Killing people and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> launching dead people into space. I think he was the, alive. That's why it's I said, the perfect. Oh, no. panic. It's the perfect crime. Allegedly. 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 You can't prove anything. You can't prove anything. Go, what are you going to do go ahead, out there? Get go it? ahead and try. Yeah, yeah. Prove it. Go ahead. Send the FBI up there. <laughs> see if I care. That's exactly what Elon Musk is saying right now. <laughs> That's my favorite conspiracy. <laughs> I love it. I got like a 250,000 mile head start. Yeah. Wow. So here's the, what is this, the Lamborghini Urus? I see oh, what, that's I see, what that I is? I see why you're yep. taking pictures. I thought that was a Ford Edge. Oh. It's, it looks I did. <laughs> I seriously <laughs> did. No, I'm not. It I looks better. It was a Ford Edge. It looks better from the front. I, I'm not. Well, why don't you take it back? It's oh, not particularly offended. I can't because of the wall. There's a wall right there, Robbie. <laughs> nosed it up against the wall. Why do you think? Why don't they back it in? Well, there's a there's a like a storefront wall in front of it, but I couldn't. You can't get oh. you can't get far enough away from it to take a picture of it. So anyway, it's it's on the video. In front of it's on that video. Definitely check out the YouTube videos. It's not that offensive. No, nah. uh, I'm not that worried about it. What's it cost? I don't think it's shouty million, enough million. to be a Lamborghini. Yeah, that's the thing. It's t- they tamed it down. Well, you've or got too- well, you've got a Performante parked next to it with like this wild, crazy, chopped up carbon fiber. Like yeah. and I don't even know. And then there's this Edge. Ford Edge. Yeah, but we all they all said that about the Huracan, and then they made the Preformante. So they're gonna make I one of these. I loved the Huracan original. the The old the the base Huracan is still one of the best looking cars that's being made today, in my opinion. My point is, I think Audi made this one, and then like in a couple of years they're gonna let Lamborghini mess with it. And they're like, let's put, spo- let's get put some spoilers and make it go a million miles an hour. And they're like, shut up, fine. And they'll just let Lamborghini do it. And then it'll look ridiculous. And then people will buy it. In people will buy Dubai. that too, though. That's the thing. Yeah, they will. They absolutely will. Somebody here in Des Moines already has one of those for sure. Oh, yeah. It's at least on order. Yeah. So, anyway, not that offended by it. it whatever. Seems so practical. Robbie's coming around to it. There was an Edge ST there, though. And it's yeah. really, uh, it's yeah. one of the first pictures. It's, oh, is that what that was? Yeah, see, you didn't even I notice. It was see? A focus. <laughs> oh, not that one. No, keep oh, going. yeah, that is a focus, the white one. isn't it? The white one. That's an Edge ST. What is that BTR racing thing? Or not BTR a, not edition, a, not whatever it is. It's uh, the bad. What, what was it on? It was on that Focus ST. Oh, okay. Interesting. I don't know what it means. With the horrible orange peel. Oh really? Yeah, oh, so so bad. If you go to the BTR logo, you can well, you can even see it there. Somebody I think commented about it. Yeah. On Whoop! <laughs> look at that. Jesus Christ. That orange peel. Shit. Nailed it. It's like SEMA in here. So. Wow. You couldn't even notice the the Ford Edge. Again, I don't think the Ford Edge would be that offensive if they hadn't tried to make it sound like race tuned. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's that whole marketing talk of like. Somebody we shredded brought tires, in tires, brah. That, no, they're like, we need to have a brainstorming session to talk about racing buzzwords, and then we're going to apply those to the new Ford Edge. And that sounds like the experiment that they went through to come up with the marketing for this car. But so meanwhile, it's like, hey, it's just a fast SUV you can haul your family around in. What? What? Shredding tires is not a racing buzzword. It's yeah, a but drifting no, buzzword. no, no. See, again, it's marketing people. They don't drive cars. They talk oh, about infotainment. And they yeah. sit in a room and they're like. What are race car drivers like? And they're like, um, literally, that's what they do. <laughs> this is this is the problem. That's why it's, it's so bad. It makes me so mad, though. I More know. satin. I don't know, man. So anyway, that wraps it up. Yep. There's not much else to it. I'm sure it'll just continue to get worse and worse every year until Maserati's no longer a company. A but. real positive outlook here every week. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the people tune in. Yep. My hope. My my honest hope for this is that what's going to happen is there will be a split at some point where there's going to be the Chicago Auto Show, and it's just going to be all autonomous vehicles and stuff, and you know people go and check it out, or they don't, I guess, if we don't own cars anymore, whatever. And then there's going to be the real auto show where people go to look at, like... The enthusiasts. The enthusiast auto show where people go to look at... Race cars. That happened in December. It's in Indianapolis. It's called PRI. Yes. Yeah. But they'll have another area for new vehicles. They'll have to move that to McCormick so they can use all the space to bring in the race cars. That would be fantastic. But I, We could sleep out. on Jabay's couch. It would be great. I literally yeah. think that's what's going to happen is you're just going to see a shift where cars that we understand them now will just become technology items. 
So maybe they'll just all be at CES. And then there will be the other side of it, the smaller faction of it, that will just be performance-based vehicles, you know, for whatever there is of Alex Roy's campaign to maintain human-driven vehicles, there'll be some of that, and then there'll be race cars and, you know, real limited small companies that build Exocet-style chassis and crazy stuff, put engines in them and, you know, try to sell you stuff for your track day. Lambo needs a PRI booth for sure. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. So, but that's that's how I predict the future. So it's it's not that grim. It's just going to take some time to build up that audience and build up that medium, you know. It's going to be a, just a different show. So, anyway, that's my trip to Chicago. Find the pictures on Facebook. Robbie will share some on Instagram. There is me messing around in a Maybach. I found out that like literally all that was was just me messing with rich people's cars after the f- I thought about it and you yes. made the video. It was just me messing with rich people's cars. Uh-huh. Well, that's, that's all because I'm you're not going to go to the auto show and look at cars that you could mess with here. Yeah. Well, and I'm also glad that you didn't just do a highlight video where you just walk around with your GoPro and you're like, all right, edit it. Edit what? But I'm yeah. not editing shit. <laughs> It was literally me like, together. is the door open to the Maybach? It is. <laughs> See that, that? There's a table in there. I haven't got to watch that, that yes, one. That's, that's, that's I'm going to have to yeah. for sure. So, yeah, it's me messing with the Maserati, the Maybach, which we didn't talk about, which is pretty impressive. Uh, Rolls Royce, a Bentley. There was a Bentley Continental GT in there. Some um, old concept cars were there. Yeah, that, cool. you should watch that because the original Batman car was in there. Oh, okay. Which somebody will probably, oh, it's not through. I don't care. It was the original. <laughs> in my mind, it's... it's, uh, it's the- the Adam West. Engine? It's oh, the okay. Adam, Adam West, West. Batman yeah. okay. car. Um, I think that is pretty close there was to a being original. Chrysler. It wasn't a Chrysler. It was, I called it a Cadillac. You called it a Cadillac, it but it's a Ford bubble top. Ford bubble top. Oh, that's cool. That was there. That was neat. I yeah. haven't seen it yet. A couple of, maybe it, there was another There was another car there, too. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Just some different stuff, some fun stuff. So you should check out the YouTube video. And then me and the guys getting driven around in the Jeep. Which Was is, there anybody yeah, else that had driving? Like uh, demonstrations. demonstrations, almost all the big guys did. Like Toyota, I think. Um, who else would have what Nissan? Was Toyota have. demoing. It's just so stupid. They like they make you they like drive around a little bit. And what though? Camrys and stuff. You drive <laughs> around cares? a little bit, and then you go up a little hill, and they're like, "Oh, we're on a hill," and then they back up, and then but they're on one of those. Uh, it's not Mylar, but it's I don't know. It's something real slick. And they kind of do like a J turn, like wow, that's amazing. And then you go to the next thing, and like bumpy rocks, like whoa, that's bumpy. And then that's literally their thing. And then you go over to the Jeep thing. It's like all right, we're gonna go up this 30, 35 degrees, yeah. and here we go. I'll look and at the ceiling for a bit. I'm gonna unlock the the uh, the uh, what was it? the sway bars, which you know credit where credit is due. The new Wrangler does do a lot of crazy stuff, like the sway bar disconnects and yeah, or like the downhill descent. Yeah, like that stuff automated. Yep different terrain management and it does like a leveling thing it's like automatic level sensing so that the cabs level when you're doing crazy stuff and you know it's pretty cool i mean he did say it was fifty five thousand dollars <laughs> but but like you know like was pointed out somewhere that i posted i think that might have been in the turbo timer tribe calling them out again because i posted it there because one of their one of their guys is a big jeep fanatic and you know you couldn't buy a base model Jeep and put all those parts on it for anywhere close to fifty five thousand dollars. Yeah, he's he's correct. Like, there's no way you could put disconnecting. I don't think you can buy disconnecting sway bars. I don't think I don't that's a thing. Somebody probably makes them. I don't know, but what are the cost? <laughs> yeah, even if you could, like, what would it cost to put all that stuff on a base model? You couldn't do it. Right. You'd have eighty grand wrapped up in a in a thirty thousand dollar Jeep yeah. really really quickly. Yeah, and it, I mean, if you wanted to take something off roading out of the box, I don't know how you're going to do a lot start. better than that. Um, that's going to be more capable than anything else you can buy. Um, so, yes. Dodge not doing any burnouts or anything this year? Not really. They so had, they had that, a Diva they had doing a, a yeah. wheel stand. They had the Bondurant, Bondurant um, like, heads-up racing thing, which was kind of weird, and we didn't do. For some reason, there was a huge line. It's like really? everybody in there was like, oh, we got to go do this. We're like, uh, no, we're going to go do something else. It's just drag racing on a simulator. simulator yeah. It's not nothing, that crazy. Nothing. But did you see the Subaru in the luge? Yeah. Do you know what that is? Somebody drove that 
down. They, that luge? was a video that Subaru put out a while back. The guy raced it down a luge track somewhere. I think I did see that actually. And he just like beat it up against the wall a couple times. You can see that that uh, front driver's side it is pretty smashed, smashed a little bit. Smashed. Yeah. Hey, it means he actually did it. It was pretty cool to watch. Yeah. The guy's ballsy as hell. I wouldn't have done it. I do. Yeah, because it's kind of one of those things you're committed to once you start it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all or nothing. Yeah. You're not getting yeah. out of it. So Things should go bad really quickly, too. Yeah, and once you start tumbling, you kind of got to tumble all the way down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, so, but, yeah, that's it. Those are the main highlight, highlights. So, you guys want to do some news? We can do some news. Let's do some news. What do we got here first? First news item is the new uh, Lancia Stratos is coming for really rich people. <laughs> Robbie, <laughs> I Damn love it. I okay. love okay. this car. Okay, no, but you it's better justify so ridiculous. yourself, Mr. Ram. Okay, <laughs> so so that you have to. I don't know where to start with this stupid thing. Right, but I don't have go. a problem with the car. Here we if go. Someone wants to build me build this car. Great. But what this company is it Lancia is actually doing it or who's no doing it? it's oh uh, wait here it's Manifatura <laughs> Automobili Torino Torino I gotcha but it's longer the O is longer uh, Torino mm, no M-A-T. Manifatura let's go with M A T Automobili Torino an Italian company <laughs> Italian <laughs> <laughs> they come from Italy he knows how many cows are in a herd. He calls it idly. Just <laughs> saying. Idly. Just saying, people. All right, this idly car. <laughs> so, you go to this, what are we calling them, Cat? C-A-T? M-A-T. Matt. M-A-T. Matt. 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 We go to Matt, and I say, I need a Lancia. And they're like, all right, we're going to build you this glorified kit car. But what we need first from you is a used Ferrari F430 Scud. <laughs> Which, you know, those are a dime a dozen. Yeah, there's all. Fuck, I, yeah. I, I got go. three of them in my driveway. I could go on Craigslist tomorrow. So I need to find that, which is you know obviously easy to come by, and it's not going to be what 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 one hundred fifty thousand maybe two hundred for a Scud two hundred thousand for know. a used Scud I don't know what they are, but let's just say two hundred, and then I drop it off yeah. to you, and then I give you six hundred thousand more. <laughs> To turn this kit car into my car. It's first of all, it's not a kit car. Oh, it's fuck. a coach built. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you don't know shit. Go back. You need to be cultured, no. sir. No, Go back. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Torino, Pin and Farina. All of these cars. <laughs> all of these cars were originally coach built. Go go back and look at history. Go back to the 30s. Okay. Cars were coach built. It's an art form that you can that most of the time you no longer can do because most cars construction the whole thing is structural. There's no right. frame in unibody now. So for someone to come in and actually chop a car apart and then rebuild it into something else is not an easy task. It's a hand built car. They could hand build this from scratch for less than eight hundred thousand uh, dollars. You can to speak on our kit car thing, you can buy original Stratos, which I think look better. Yeah. Kits from Lister. We talked about them in our kit car episode. Yeah. You can put some crazy whatever you want to put in it. Any Italian, insert Italian engine here in the back of it uh-huh. and be off. Why well, I, I would I would take that any day. When, and then, even for the same cost, which it wouldn't be. No, you could do it for half that. Probably. For a third. Yeah, I on would a, on an expensive. Do you think bill. you could do it for six feet? Well, you, you, I'm sure you could, but you'd struggle to do it for six. Where would you even put that money? Eight hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> bro. For eight hundred thousand, they're building twenty five of them. Yeah, eight hundred thousand. All of them. Yeah, I know. That's my point. They will sell every single one of these. So why will, why why, shouldn't they? why do you even need the scud? Just build for eight hundred thousand dollars. Build me your own carbon monocoque car. Do Dude, they, they don't have the technology to do that. That's why they're using somebody else's car. They don't have the technology to build the the engine. Ferrari won't give them this stuff. Yeah, for, they tried. Well, Ferrari said no. We're not going to do this. Ferrari's going to throw a fit for them did. packing up their scuds. Nah, fuck them. There's nothing they can do about it if they buy them in the afternoon. No, I get it, but they're going to. They're already talking about it. You're writing. You're writing that uh, death note for you buying any fancy new Ferrari. You are no? definitely. You're going to have to pay full retail at the dealer and hope they don't know who you are if you want a Ferrari. Yeah, you're not going to get a La Ferrari, you know, ever follow up spot for sure. The thing anyway. that I was most upset about by, by these was the Safari edition because I. <laughs> Don't know that I'm into the safari. What car they build thing. Stratos rally cars. Yeah. I know, but 
I guess when you history s- people go back and read your history. <laughs> when you say when you say safari, I don't think rally. I think that those are two distinctly different things. Yeah, I think that's what they meant. It may be called the safari, but the I think it's a, a homage to the rally buzzword car. thing right now. People buy old 911s and lift them up and call them safari cars. Yeah, bike racks on my rooftops, and I'm not into that look. No, if they're building a like a homage like rally car. Okay, I'm into it then. But if you're going to lift it up and put, like, make it a safari car, as, as they said, I'm not into that. I think it's just called the safari. I, I hope that's the case. Right. So I'm all, I think it's cool. I'm really glad that they're bringing back a Lancia Stratos car. I, I, I will never understand the $800,000. There's got to be a better way. There's a lot of different ways. and a lot, Like, if I had $800,000 and I wanted a car like this, I would definitely go a different route. Come here, friend. If Ryan Turek can get a Ferrari V8. I mean, yeah, his works so well. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, for eight hundred thousand dollars, I bet you could get it to run. <laughs> Probably could. Shit, for a hundred grand, I bet you could get it to run right. You don't think he's got a hundred grand in that car? Uh, yes. Yeah, but he's close. I bet Depen- so. D- yeah. Man hours? Dep- yeah, it depends on how you <laughs> bought, yeah. man depends on how you yeah, bought everything in man hours. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it was like a Copart snag or something oh, like that. It had to have been. It yeah. had to have come well, up. Is it a 430 car. engine? No, remember. that's a 458. There you go. Motor. Ooh. Man, how are you going to buy one of those for even less a, than six Even figures? a wrecked one. Yeah, that's it's still got to be almost 100 grand, right? I would think at least, yeah. Can you go on eBay and buy that motor? I mean, uh, but, what, but even if rarely. you buy it, then what do you do with it? Like, how do you? I mean, what transmission? How do you manage it? Well, all that stuff? he had to figure all that out anyway. That's because, all custom fabbed. Yeah, it's got some crazy Hollinger six-speed sequential gearbox oh, right. behind it, and it's probably run on a, like a Motec or something like that. Man, that sounds like a nightmare. Well, that's, that's a bunch why of money it was broken down at Gridlife Midwest, <laughs> and he yeah. showed up with his two JZ car at Gridlife South. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, yep. Anyways, what's next? I don't think I would spend eight hundred thousand dollars on it, but no, I'm glad like that if, they're if, making it. Yeah, they should. If they could get some backing and build their own car and sell it for two fifty, what do you think an original Lancia Stratos goes for these days? Eight hundred thousand dollars. Eight hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> million dollars. I would, I would take that all day. Yeah. Yes, even but if it's worse. It's the same but problem. It's, it's the same problem they had on the Grand Tour when they drove those remade. Jags and Aston Martins. Right. Those are meant to run at wide open throttle all the right. time. Right. Old carburetors, et cetera, et cetera. So it'll never run. It'll never run right. And I would have taken every single painful, <sighs> grueling second of that too. And That's I would fair. have been just happy as could be. Should we do the next one? Yep. Fiat adds a heritage restoration program. Factory authorized, et cetera, et cetera. Well, that's fun. Have you got your one, two, four? No, because Spot because <laughs> they are actually going out into the market, buying the cars, restoring them, and then selling them, reselling profit. them, and then the proceeds from that go to the FCA's heritage division, which is like their own history. You know, they keep the FCA history, the Fiat so history. We've talked about other companies doing this, and I don't hate the idea. No, not I at think all. it's cool that they're doing it. And I also think that it's going to bring up the value of all those cars. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just more publicity. and Right. Look at a shiny one. Oh, that's cool. I should build one. Right. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's why there's a lot of Chargers and Camaros resting away because he saw it sell on Barrett-Jackson for 250 grand. Very true. So. It does weird stuff to the market. Uh, it's called the Reloaded by Creators, which... I don't know if they had a meeting and decided to come up with the worst name that they could think of. Buzzwordy. (laughs) Yeah. But reloaded by creators. (laughs) You could have called it the reloaded service and that would have worked. It sounds like it sounds like a shotgun shell service or something. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's stupid. So they're gonna work on they're gonna go out into the market and buy classic Abarth, um, Alpha, Fiat, and Lancia cars and restore them. So it's not just Fiat's, it's a wide breadth of things. And they talked about um, some that they had specifically purchased. I don't remember the list because it was a little bit weird. There might have been like a 1300 GTV in there and a Alpha um, Spider, which they picked yeah, a, a weird four. year Spider. They picked a 91. Um, 
which might a desirable car. I don't think so because it's the big bumper one. That thing, all day <laughs> long. Never, I'd rather I've, pay eight hundred thousand dollars oh. for that thing than Let me guess, the Lancia. Robbie, you don't like that, do you? That's a weird car. It I is love it. So what is sick? It? I can't remember. What are uh, those called? For the scroll down, Robbie. What's uh, the Alfa Romeo SZ? Yes, that's it. The SZ. SZ. Yeah. Yep. That oh. thing is crazy cool. There's a lot of cars I'd buy before that one. I don't, I know. don't know, man. There's a lot of Alphas I'd really like to own. That car. That's that's sweet. on my no list. <laughs> oh, they do have a one two four here. They did buy a one two four apparently. Really? Yep. Well, that's cool. One of the giant bumper jacked up American ones. So I don't know what I exactly. Like this car. What What's this car? Fulvia. Lancia Fulvia. I like the Fulvia. Uh, V four. 1300 cc's. V4, I think. really? V4, yeah. Interesting. Front wheel drive, weird car. Oh, that Probably car. longitudinal then. Yes. Ran out of Fulvia knowledge. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yes. Yeah, it, it is. It Ab- is yep. longitudinal. Yep. Um, yeah, it looks so sweet. Look at the greenhouse on that thing. Yeah, they're cool, man. Yeah, I'm really into this car. Robbie <coughs> approves of the Fulvia. The Fulvia is a rad car. It's got a little bit of a weird name. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm sure it means something in Italian. Doesn't matter. So, I don't know. It, I it's just a, I, these Italian Italians. cars. <laughs> the Italian news. It's Italian cars. Can I say that? Italian? Nope. Oh. Still wrong. <laughs> Stick to cows. Italian. I'm from Iowa. Exactly. <laughs> Iowa. Uh, I'm from Iowa. <laughs> anyway, uh, cool service. I guess we'll see what else they decide to do. I'm sure that How the many did they make of these 90, 89 things? SVs. The SV? Uh, uh, not that many. Not enough. Are they here? No. no. Oh. Nope. No. A lot of their cars never made it here. That makes sense. It's it's just one of those cars that is out of control. It's like a wedge that's not a wedge. It's got a crazy greenhouse on it. It's the body's wedgy, and then it's got what looks like a bubble top. Yep. Yeah. And it's got a crazy front end on it. I don't know. It's one of those cars you love or you hate, and I think it is outstanding. Nah. It is eighty nine, right? Yep. It's legal. Ooh, well, I think the problem is though they're so expensive. Oh yeah, I'm sure you that they're even, just a yeah. dime a dozen. Outrageously, yeah, wow, overpriced. Sure you'd, you'd struggle to import one, but it's, it's cool. <laughs> Robbie's just so confused. I am. Like, you could, you could buy. Like, you know what the good thing is though? Robbie's like. losing the taste battle this episode. Oh, for so, sure, that's you know, fine. I, for I, sure. I could just care. disregard. <laughs> Whatever. Should we to, do the next? To each your, their own, I guess. Is <laughs> Except for the Longhorn. You, yeah, no, no one I, should I, be I'm, into that. No, but should it, we, it actually uh, is terrible. <laughs> should we do the uh, next news item here? Yep. Uh, Ferrari, which is an Italian, Italian, com- an Italian, Italian company. Italian car. Italian <laughs> company. <laughs> uh, plans Wait, to build... Where's it from? Plans to build an all-electric supercar. <laughs> Italy, I think. I'm pretty sure it's Italy, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so what I is, swear to God, Adam what builds it? the news. He puts this in here. I, he set this whole thing up. It's all him. He did this. <laughs> all right, so what's Ferrari building? They're building an electric supercar, and they're going to build an SUV. Did Sergio they, Marconi. Did Marconi. They, Sergio Marconi. He Italy. says now crazy Sergio. that he's crazy Sergio. We love Sergio, maybe. We used to. Yeah. We used to love Sergio. He's claiming now that they're going to produce an electric supercar and an SUV uh, around the time frame 2019-2020. But here's what I'd like to bring to everybody's attention. <laughs> if you go back... I'll take a seat. If you, if you would like to take a step back with me in history uh, for just a moment. Um, let's see. During the opening of the Geneva Motor Show in 2016, and I actually researched this. This wasn't available <laughs> for some reason in the articles about this. Like, come on. This nobody is called him out No, nobody I couldn't did. believe it. Okay. Opening of Geneva Motor Show, 2016... Sergio is talking to a room full of journalists. He says that building an electric supercar for Ferrari would be, quote, an obscene com- <laughs> obscene concept, end quote. And he wa- went on to say, quote, you'd have to shoot me first. I remember that. <laughs> we, have, we have covered this. Yes. Now, prior to that, on an earnings call, I think in February or end of January 2016, uh, around the time that Ferrari went public, Sergio said again, and I quote, when asked if Ferrari would build an, ele- an electric SUV, he said verbatim the same thing. You would have to shoot me first. <laughs> Maybe he got shot. Maybe it's not him anymore. Maybe he got shot. Well, you can... 50 Cent's been shot eight times, and he's still... Nine, that's true. Nine We're times. not entirely certain that he hasn't been shot. Yeah. 
So maybe he's been he's shot. Still, yeah, so he's had his alive. moment. He had his, you know, now he can coming build, to Jesus moment. Well, I guess I'm building electric cars right. now. I'm that get, was what he thought. I'm, I'm going to get called out if I don't. Right. So I'm going to have to do it now. Right. Yeah, he's begrudgingly. That's why he keeps that's why about nobody retiring. wrote it into the that's article. True. It's just, yes. well, he's been shot. We missed that piece of the story <laughs> yeah. where he would been shot. It's and then, because Facebook buried it and I didn't catch that article. Well, and everybody else is like, if you know stuff about cars, you would have known Sergio got shot in 2017. And so the change of pace. Yeah. Journalists know about cars and they make those sort of assumptions. Well, I, yeah, obviously. Right. Yeah. So anyway. I just couldn't believe it. I, yeah, I really. It's like, like, yeah, we're going to build an electric SUV or an SUV and an electric supercar. Like, and everyone no. goes, oh, yeah, sure. Wait a second. Yeah, of course they are. I'm pretty sure we talked about this on this show. Yep. And we're praising him for saying that he would never, ever do such obscene things to Ferrari. It had something to do with how pissed he was about the 500E. Yeah, because, well, and then he, you know, said something about, show me that Tesla can be profitable and I'll build it in six months or something like yep. that, you know? But didn't he didn't he go on to say at some point in this article like good things like Tesla they they seem to be doing it right they they've proven that you can so now we will yeah I think that's where he can backtrack he's like see I did say that if they showed me the money I'll do it in six months what happens when Tesla fails in nine months well then I'll, then I'll cancel it I never said <laughs> yeah, that so. I never said that <laughs> and then no he'll just, he'll it. just he'll just be like I don't I don't I don't recall that and then auto blogger who will be like yeah I don't I don't I don't recall that either, actually. Now that I think <laughs> he about probably it. got shot I, again. I remember him saying that he'd have to be shot. I remember that now. He probably got shot again. That's what Is that what happened? Yeah. Change his mind one more time? Yeah. So we can look forward to that? Oh, I'm not looking forward to that at all. Okay. These crazy Italians. The crazy Italians are all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> building $800,000 cars. Building SUVs. How do I say it? I can't even say it now because you screwed me up so bad. <laughs> Italian. It's not Italian. It's Italian. It's a short yeah. I. Italian. Italian. Don't uh. don't lean on the I. Just uh. Italian. <laughs> Italian. 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 Emphasize on the T. It's not Italian. It's not Italian. It's just Italian. Italian. Yeah. Italian. You kind of blow through the word like if Italian. Somebody, like what would you like for dinner tonight? Italian. 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 Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Mumble it a little bit. Italian. Yeah. Italian. Spaghetti. You know. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah Spaghetti Italian. and meatball. Italian. <laughs> make a lot of hand gestures. Do a lot of this. Don't make anything plural. It's meatball. It's meatball. not meatballs. It's meatball. Spaghetti and meatball. Yes, exactly. <laughs> is that racist? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's only racist if you call it out, Robbie. Oh, shit. No one would have noticed until you went and said something about it. Sorry, Italians. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's saying the name right, I guess. Small baby, victories. baby steps. Small I'm victories. from Iowa. I don't know how to say my eyes. At least I'm not from Minnesota. <laughs> I don't even think anybody listens to this show anymore. No one's clearly. made it this far. There's no way. We're just getting downloads from people who subscribed and forgot about it. Whoops. They, they, they started the show. They're like, forget what that. What the hell are they talking about? <laughs> you can say whatever you want at the end. No one hears it. <laughs> uh, next mo- news story. Uh, WEC moves Fiji race dates so that Fernando Alonso. Is he Italian? No. He's not? I don't think so. It's a very Italian sure name. He, he blows up a lot of Italian motors. I thought he was boom. I thought he was Spanish. And he oh, he might be Spanish. Yeah, he's, he's Spanish. yeah, yeah. He blew okay. Up Japanese motors last year. That's right. He was. In his defense, anybody would have. No. So anyway, they moved the Fiji race date so Fernando Alonso can race. Yes. Stupid. So at where do I start? Can I? If you want to, yeah. Absolutely. So first of all, by moving this, they interfere with multiple other races that people who race in WEC were planning on being at instead. Just So there are multiple drivers who now have to make the decision, do I race WEC or do I race spe- or pe- specifically Petit Le Mans? Petit. But also, uh, like, Japanese Super GT and, and some other, like, not a huge international race, but I think it's a big race in that country. Yeah. Uh, so now there are multiple quote, lower level drivers who have to make a decision that whether or not they're going to race in this just so that this one guy can make it to every can WEC make race. it to the WEC race and the American Grand Prix. Well, here's one more little blurb to that. WEC came out with their um, schedule in August of last year. Yep. They had already worked with uh, the IMSA so that they would they moved the Fuji race or no, how that so, it wouldn't so it wouldn't interfere, interfere with Petit Le Mans. Yeah, and then 
now they completely had everyone settled on that. All these drivers had plans set for racing at Petit Le Mans and the WC race at Fuji, and then now they switch it back. So they had, they had already worked out, or they had an interference, they fixed it, and then went right back to it. I don't care how good Fernando Alonso may or may not be. There's a lot of people on this planet, apparently, who believe he's the greatest racing driver who currently lives. And I don't care if that's true or not. To me, there is no individual racing driver who should get this kind of treatment, period. No, absolutely They not. should not change huge international-level races that will affect literally thousands of people for one guy. It's dumb. Plus, he's not going to finish the race anyways. Yeah, Toyota always breaks down, right? He's, it's gonna, he's going to blow up an engine. I don't know about that. But Toyota seems to have rough luck. But yeah, okay, whatever. I just don't... I think it's ridiculous that they would... They would change such an international scale, right? Just for a guy. You know, they they significantly impact people who, you know, they have to make. There's a lot of these people, lower level drivers, quote unquote, who rely on as many races as they can possibly get to yeah. for their living. Of all the people who need to make sure that they make every race they can this year, Fernando's not one of them. Nope. He's doing just fine with his McLaren contract. This Toyota deal's a drop in the bucket for him. It's ridiculous to me. Yeah, no, I don't. The fact that they changed it at all is, is insane. Right. Especially when they had IMS, yeah, IMSA and WC work together to, to line it all up. Right. Only have the WC like, hey, you know what? We want this guy there. Sorry. If I was IMSA, I would never work with them again. Uh, no, which you're, you're ruining. Yeah, I'll say you're ruining relationships in the in a big way by doing for this. like one guy who's probably just going to race it this season and never come back again. Right. Because if if McLaren does well this year, he's not coming back next year. No, they've got a new motor provider now. That motor was much better last year. They claim it's better this year than it even was last year. If McLaren's even remotely successful, he'll never be back in WEC. Right. So why would you do this? They better hope that the TV ratings really make up for it. I probably won't watch it because of it. I'm kind of mad about it. I think it's ridiculous. So it just seems dumb. It's oh it's no, I don't. I don't favoritism disagree. on the worst scale. I don't disagree. I just you know we we're saying before this. I just don't watch that much motorsport. So yeah. my opinion on it is not as strong as yours. Not that we shouldn't talk about it or that it's not stupid, but or that your comments are not valid. But it's just that you yeah. know. I'd be interested to know if other people are offended by this too, or if it just kind of skirts no, by. It, it. it seemed like it was kind of an uproar. Like a, a lot of the WEC like followers and fans are like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Because those people watch both. I mean, they watch people who who are diehard WEC people watch any endurance racing that's happening. Sure. And Petit yeah. Le Mans is an endurance race, which means that now. They can't watch both of those. They have to pick one or the other, or they have to bounce back and forth, which nobody likes doing. Right. And, I mean, that's that race is a staple in American motorsports. So America's probably, most of the American viewership, whether that's a big market share for them or not, I don't know, but most of the American viewership will probably choose Petit Le Mans and then watch the U.S. Grand Prix the next weekend. Instead of watching the Fiji race. Sure. So I think it's a poor decision on all fronts. Yes. If I was, if I was Fernando Alonso, I would have told him not to do that. Yeah. Because I would feel really bad about it. Yeah, I guess. Is there any? It's just, I I don't, no one has said anything about him. Like, I wonder what he has to say. Do you think if anybody from his camp asked, though? Oh, I can't imagine that they didn't. I wonder what would have actually, I mean, who actually instigated right. this? Was it them? Was it his people? I mean, I'm sure it's good, you know, on, on the surface of it, it looks good for his brand because it's more exposure, you know. I think he's doing a lot of side racing this year. He did the Indy 500 last year. Right. I think he's doing a lot of stuff outside of Formula One this year as well. Yep. But like I said, if McLaren's even mildly successful this year, I don't think that will happen next year. No. Right. Well, yeah, yeah see, they want, so, they want to do the full WEC season. Right. Well, he's a he's a big name. He I get it. A, not, he brings a lot of people, a lot of fans. Right. But, but I'm not yeah. sure that it's worth that. Don't Yeah, but don't publish your official schedule in August and then go, hey, it's February. We Especially want, we after want working with the other 
competition body. Well, yeah, that's why you put it out so early. Everyone's everyone's worked through it. Everyone's got plans. Like, you know, Formula One's got their schedule. They work with other like we. They always make the greatest day in racing happen every year. They all line that up just right. Sounds like there could have been a lot of conversations before. Can you imagine as a team? Because by now they've probably already got their shipping shit figured out. They've got their dates uh-huh. figured, their test dates, all that stuff. Now they have to push that forward a week, which isn't a ton of time, but at the same time it is because there's a lot of logistics yeah. behind that. Yeah, a lot of coordinate all that. Yeah, a lot hotels. of hotels. Yeah, a lot of the drivers that were doing both races now have again they have to they make have the to decision. Have to choose. They had it all planned out and scheduled, and everything was set in stone. And the problem is that like, I think most of them almost will have to choose the Fiji race because it's the more prestigious racing body it's the more prestigious right. race over. or do you wait and you choose based on your standing I like bet i'm gonna in, lose this it doesn't matter or, or, does, or, does, in, or does the imsa throw a big bonus check at them i'll bet you don't get yeah. the option i'll bet it's in your contract with whatever team you're racing with we are your first right we are your first priority and if there is another race team that you can race with that does not conflict in any way shape or form with our schedule you are allowed to go there and chances are that most of those people are probably going to have that contract with WEC's teams more than Petit uh, Le Mans teams yeah, because probably. it's a bigger yep. group. Sure. So it's crap. Some crap, right? I don't like it. It's a favoritism bullshit. I don't like it. I don't care who it is. No. You could Especially- have put any driver, any driver that you pick. I would have been annoyed and upset by this. I, I don't agree. care who it is. No, absolutely. The special so. privilege is crap for you know anyone. Right. It's crap. I think that sums up this show, doesn't it? Yes. Don't forget, guys, uh, page, group, Instagram, no idea what we're doing yet, but we got vibrant stuff we're going to give away, so make sure to follow us on all the socials so that you we, can check that stuff out. We are so dangerously close to a 1,000 people on our Facebook page that I can't even describe it, and so if you are not following our Facebook page, I beg please you. Please do it. Please do it, because I want to break that number. And then since there's a thousand of you on Facebook <laughs> and only 220 of you on our YouTube channel, I am Fix begging it. you, let's get that number to a thousand because then we can get YouTube money and we can use that for stupid car things. We will literally do stupid things with the money. We Front will wheel drive drifting. I promise you that money will go straight into the podcast and it'll be more content, more fun. We'll buy Festivas. It'll be great. It will li- if if we can make money off YouTube, we will literally only do the dumbest shit we can think of. <laughs> Absolutely, which is all that the people would expect. Let's right, be but I mean, yeah, just let's all, you know, come together. Plus, make Robbie happy. Oh, that'd be so awesome. He's he's trying. That's a lot of time. He's trying really hard. Effort. I, I want to, I want the YouTube appreciate. to succeed. I want to, I want to do more fun, stupid videos. It's fun for me. And not only that, but if people have constructive feedback for the YouTube channel, that's fun to provide it. Because we don't know what we are doing. <laughs> if that doesn't show. Yeah. But it's just like, I mean, what do people want to watch? We watch stuff on YouTube with a million views and go, I don't know why people watch this. And then we watch stuff with no views and we're like, this, this is great. Entertaining. I don't know why people watch this. <laughs> I know. And so it's really, it's a frontier that is very confusing. I realized last week that I've never been on our YouTube channel outside of the podcast. I mean, oh yeah. I've never once been on our YouTube channel. There's a bunch of shit on here that's not released yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you go. A little teaser <laughs> for those there. people watching the YouTube feed. Yeah, like we got a we got a, we got a backlog that I'm just releasing, working through. Yeah, but that's all right. There's 240 updates. There's ARC Seven updates. Yeah, there's Chicago coming. Auto Show stuff's on Should there. We say there's a schedule for the next there's, foreseeable future. Uh, like it, pretty it, consistently Wednesday. I'll be honest it? with you. No, I, I've changed it like oh, okay. every day this week. Oh, okay. I've, cha- I've changed my mind by the seat of my pants. <laughs> I was like, well, I'll do two this week, and then, nah, I'm going to do three this week. So I did it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, this week. You got to let me know these things, Robbie, ne- so next- I can whore them out. That's why I, I just post them when, when it works. There's other places, man. I, I know. Well, that's why you got to take that and go. I know, but I don't know they're happening. Send them a message. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and then uh, next week, I think I'll probably just do two. So we'll see. I'll hopefully have Maybe yet three. another one. So there'll be three. That's, see? See my pants. <laughs> see where we it gets all wild. We don't know when stuff's coming out. Robbie's wild card. You need, you need to be on the channel. Robbie's a welcome. You need to be getting the updates. Make sure to click that bell phone. so you get the update. I want to know that you subscribed. That's right. We get a notification when you click that bell. Yep. Anyways, that's it. That's Check my, out the YouTube. That's my beg. Giveaway. Robbie's thing that he was talking about, whatever that was. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week. Bye.